Hey guys, welcome back to Brunson's Math Club. Today's topic is multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Now before we get started, I just want to review the terms of fractions and whole numbers. Now keep in mind that a fraction is just a part of a whole number. So for an example, it could be 3 out of 5. So 5 is the entire number, right? So for example, if we had a circle and if we're split, split into 5 parts, so So that makes it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And three of the parts were shaded in, so 1, 2, 3. This is a fraction because three parts out of an entire five parts are shaded in. So that's a fraction, and this is the fraction that we're going to be working with today. Now a whole number, as we all know, is just a number that starts from zero and it goes on and on, right? So an example could be maybe 6, right? Because a 6 is just a whole number. So that means we would have 3 or 5 out times 6. Now keep in mind that when you're multiplying fractions, a whole number needs to have a denominator. Now a whole number is not a fraction, right? So how do we get a denominator? Well, this is the basic um, thing that you need to know. Any number divided by 1, so for example, if we had 3 divided by 1, that is the same thing as 3. Because if you were to divide 3 by 1, you still get 3. So that means any number divided by 1 equals that number. So what if you put 6 divided by 1? That would still be 6, but now it becomes a fraction, so it's easier for us to multiply, right? So now we have 3 fifths times 6 over 1. Now what all we have to do is we need to put this like... Okay, so this is right. So when you're multiplying, you're doing direct multiplication, right? So it goes numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So that means you now have 3 times 6 over 5 times 1 because you have numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So you have 3 times 6 over 5 over 1. Now this is just simple multiplication, so we all know that 3 times 6 equals 18, and 5 times 1 equals 5. Now if we could leave this as it is, as an improper fraction, because the numerator is greater than the denominator, but it's better if you change this into a mixed number, and I'm going to show you how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. Here is the basic formula. You just divide your numerator by your denominator. So in this case, we have 18 divided by 5. So if we were to do 18 divided by 5, we know from our times table that 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, now 5 times 4, as we all know, is 20, but 20 is greater than 18, so we can't do 5 times 4, so the best option we have is 5 times 3, which equals 15. So 5 times 3 is 15, now we have to subtract 18 and 15, and the difference equals 3. So now you have your quotient, but how do you make this into a mixed number? Well, here's the thing. The quotient, which is 3 in this case, will become your whole number. Your remainder, which is also 3, will become your numerator. So that will go on top. Now your denominator is going to be your divisor, and a divisor is a number that you divide by. So in this case, 5 is our divisor, so we have 5 as our denominator. So that means the product for 3 over 5 times 6 over 1 equals 3 and 3 fifths. So that's that for multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Now you can visit our website to find extra practice problems and we'll see you guys next time.